hotel, but I just got to Trader Joe's and the parking here is absolutely tight. They made me absolutely nervous. <laughs> I'm like, actually, it's not driving my, like, I'm driving my car, but it's not my car. I mean, it is my car. It's complicated. It's my mom's car, which is not mine. <sighs> Anywho, so I'm about to get out. Can you see? It says Trader Joe's. In the wrong window. So I'm gonna go out of my car and see the cart or whatever situation. I gotta put my mask on and go inside and just shop till I drop with Trader Joe's, hopefully. So I will let you know in just a sec how it goes. Going to attempt vlogging at Trader Joe's, my first time there, so I'm excited. But the other day I went to the store with Daniel, not that store, but another store, and somebody looked at me when I was trying to vlog in the store that we were in, and I got really self-conscious, so I stopped. So, as you can see, groceries today at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do a haul because I did not want to film inside the store due to, uh, the amount of people that were in there it was very busy and i did not feel comfortable and nor did i feel like the com customers would be comfortable and i felt like it was an invasion of their privacy and it was just so crowded i'm like there's no way i'm gonna be able to film in here but we're gonna do a haul instead when i get home hopefully soon i just gotta get out of this parking lot it is mad busy mad busy like when i say busy i say mad busy so stay tuned for the haul in just a moment and I'll show you what I bought. Okay, so I'm out of breath. I just walked up two flights of stairs with two bags. I have one more left downstairs plus another bag from another store that I went to. But anyway, um, I live up more than two flights of stairs, just so you know. So what I bought a couple different segments of this haul from Trader Joe. I got one three pack of paper towels, which is not going to be enough, but it's good enough for now. And I got a bunch of good stuff in here. I wasn't sure which olive oil to get, so I got this one. It's their 100% Italian woo, organic extra virgin olive oil. Cold press product of Italy, USDA organic. And what else did I get? Oh my god, I'm so out of breath. Got um, some portobello mushrooms. It's a pack of two. And a birthday card for my aunt. Happy birthday, Auntie. <laughs> Her birthday is tomorrow. And Yes, uh, then I didn't like the way that the other tomatoes felt, like the ones that I was looking at before this. So I got this little pack of, it's called Sprinkles Teeny Tiny Tomatoes. And I was like, okay, I could do these. And what else did I get? Um, then we're going to get to the other bag with the meats and stuff in it. So I'm going to look at my mess. I got, I didn't know what coffee to get, we needed coffee. So I was like, we like dark coffee. So I got the Trader Joe's. Dark coffee, dark roast, 100% ar 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 I don't know how to pronounce this word. I don't really don't know. Arabica, ground coffee, 13 ounces. Is also kosher parv because there's no milk in it. Yeah, so we got Joe's coffee, <laughs> and I love the concept of reusable bags because I love to reuse bags. Like I hated when I worked with. Or not hated, but like it annoyed me when customers in the past would say, I don't want a bag. Like, when you could reuse it. And I got a bag of like these little limes, and most of them felt good. So I was like, yes, let me get this. So I got a little, I got a bag of little limes, and I got three large shallots. Hold on, let me put this down real quick. Let me put these in for now. I got three decent looking large shallots to add to my shopping cart. Um, the lady that rung me up was really nice, as was her 
coworker that um, helped bag because I got a lot of stuff. And I got this uh, Trader Giotto's <laughs> Gold Balsamic Vinegar of Moderna. Medina, 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 this one's Medina, uh, Aceto Balsamico de Medina, I thought it was Moderna, but it's Medina, uh, yes, it's aged, 6% acidity, sounded good, I could not find the date on it, but I was like, well, it's balsamic, so hopefully it's good, it says to be a product of Italy, and I'm kind of a product of Italy too, <laughs> so that's the first bag, then we got the next bag over here, here which we're going to go through too, real quick before I have to like put everything in and then get the next stuff before I get too tired and don't want to do it. So I got some organic baby kale and when I was looking at the, the greens when I first got in there, I noticed the dates were like, oh my god. So that one's the 26, that's not bad. but. The organic power uh, power to the greens it was only good for uh what's today the 18th a couple days and then i got trader joe's cruciferous crunch collection kale brussels sprouts broccoli green cabbage and red cabbage because i like my greens and things and i got organics arugula because, like I said, I like my greens and things. I wanted to get this just because to go with my Rebel ice cream when I get it. Sweet rose coconut whipped topping made with real coconut cream. Yum. And what else? I got two decent avocados. Hold on, let me open this. Two avocados. I feel like one of them, at least one of them is good for today probably. So I got two, two avocados. And we got some broccoli, organic broccoli florets. Yes. Why is my camera weird like that? Oh, there it is. Block broccoli florets. Again. Yes. And some Trader Joe's shaved Parmigiano Reggiano. H to perfection. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe salad? I don't know. We'll see. And I got some stuff for like noshing, like because I'm home. I got some sliced prosu prosciutto. Trader Joe's, of course. <laughs> also, this is not Trader Joe's. Fratelli Beretta 1812 Calabri Salami. Yum! And, um, I've gotten this, I don't know if it was the same brand, or it looks very similar to, probably the same brand at Target, but I got, like, a big pack, but it was so delicious between me and Daniel, I feel like I should get another one. It's the Fratelli Beretta 1812 Pepper Coated Salami, delish! Like, I don't have, like, when I'm home now, I don't have, like, a real lunch, I either don't have lunch at all, which is bad, or I, like, have, like, a healthy snack, or nosh on some of these you know like on salami or cheese or both um something you know low carb or no carb and this i got new england or not new england jesus new zealand spring lamb french lamb rack oh yes grass-fed raised without antibiotics no added hormones and it's good for a while so i figure that's great I mean, maybe not in our fridge, because our fridge is, like, all kinds of messed up for some reason. And then I got this frozen grilled chicken strips from Trader Joe's. Just heat and eat. Made with chicken breasts with rib meat. For a change, which I don't usually do, but it's good for a change in store. Lastly, in the cold section, we have some, which is going to be our dinner tonight. I'm going to fling snake in a while. I have steak a lot, but not this kind. USDA Choice Premium Angus Beef Flank Steak. Yes. Born, raised, and harvested in USA. God bless America. Yes. So that's the stuff right now that I have. I got to put it away before it goes bad. And then I'm going to get the other bag and I'll show you the last bit of things that I bought today at Trader Joe's.
All right, be right back, booze. <laughs> 